All right, YouTube, let's talk about modifying a Behringer Phaser PH9. These are pretty inexpensive Phaser pedals. Uh, you can open it up, and there are some modifications you can make without having to solder anything. You just need a screwdriver. So I'm going to show you where that little uh, uh, thing that you can turn that can change the uh, sound of the Phaser a little bit. So I've already taken it apart a little bit. You can you can see that I got the back uh, taken off here. So let me just show you real quickly what you got to do. So there's four screws, one, two, three, four, on the back. You take that off, and then you got three screws that hold the circuit board in place. By the way, if you do this, you avoid the warranty. So you know, just uh, fair warning there. You start taking pedals apart and adjusting things. It's going to uh, avoid your warranty. But for the price of these things, they're they're pretty inexpensive. I think it's like in the uh, 20 something dollar range so you know they're dirt cheap so if you fry the thing out you know hey you're not at a bunch of money so uh, I've already taken the back off so you can see that here uh, let's unplug my amp cables here we'll uh, plug it in, in a minute so you can hear what it sounds like so then you gotta pull the knob off here and that's uh, simply pulling it off now one thing you'll discover when you pull the circuit board out is that this is not actually a double pull double throw switch like uh, say MXR pedals uh, so I'm taking the circuit board out and look at that in a sec let me get this up to the uh, camera here so you get a little idea so you see the, uh, the switch is just like on a spring here so when it, and that uh, it's on to this little guy in the uh, was this little guy on the uh, circuit board here pops it up and down and you can hear it clicking Okay, so after you get this guy disassembled, there is a little uh, screwdriver switch right here. Let me get it right up to the camera so you can see this. Focus, focus, focus. So this little guy right here. So I would take a Sharpie and mark that however it's set before you start... Uh, toying with anything so you got a, a, a reference point so if you don't like how it sounds you can move the thing back you need a Phillips head screwdriver you know little little teeny one and again it's this thing that my fingers covering right there you adjust that a little bit and that'll change how your phaser sounds slightly and we'll do that in a second after I got this thing hooked up but you can see this right here is the actual uh, where the knob is this is that swirl thing right here so you know that's how it looks when it's outside of the board and then you got your uh, input and output, you got your 9 volt, and then you got your power thing, and then you got your on off right here. That's that's basically it as far as a little teeny circuit board here. So, let's uh, plug this in. So I'm grabbing my little one spot here, plugging it in. So now I'm going to, let's see, let's get the uh, output. You can hear a little noise there. Let's get the, the input plugged in. Presto! Look at that. Blue light special. See it? Okay. So, again, it's not in the case right now. So, I'm going to get my Phillips head ready here. Put it right here. I'm going to play. And I'm pretty much in tune. So, this is a uh, humbucker on the bridge. Without anything. So, now I'm going to cut my uh, PH9 on. I'm going to turn it up so the, the phase rate is kind of real noticeable, so you'll hear what it sounds like when I adjust this thing. Okay, so let's adjust a little bit. I'm going to go a little ridiculous here so you see how crazy it can go. So I've adjusted it uh, counterclockwise a lot. So you can hear it counterclockwise kind of uh, makes it sound like nothing's going on. Uh, so let me change my Phillips head on this little screwdriver here real quick. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to adjust it the other way, which would be uh, clockwise. So I'm going to adjust it clockwise past my... Uh, 
original point here. You know, I'm not getting a good, uh, not getting good grip here. Let me get uh, another uh, screwdriver head on here, so we can adjust a little more. Okay, so get your get your tools in order before you uh, start playing with stuff. So now I'm adjusting a little past where I marked it. So now it's about uh, where I've got it marked. It's about uh, I guess you'd call that six o'clock. Now it's about eight o'clock. So you can tell if you go too far, it kind of doesn't do anything so that sweet spot is right around at least on mine and you can hear it warbling in right there the sweet spot seems to be around uh, you know four o'clock five o'clock so you hear it warbling a little bit let's All right now I don't know if you can hear that on the uh, little webcam here but that just increase the bass a lot. So I switched to my neck pickup there so you can hear what it sounds like in the neck. So I've adjusted it more towards the four o'clock. Let me switch to the bridge pickup. towards, uh, like I said, be ooh, a little between like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Made a lot, lot more subtle. So, just adjust your preference. And again, it's a fairly inexpensive pedal, so it's not the uh, end of the world if you really screw something up, but as you can see, you can have it out here and actually power it up and uh, adjust this little uh, trim pot. I, I'll call it the right thing. So, you'll need a, a screwdriver to get to this trim pot, but it's this little uh, thing that's kind of uh, kind of yellow, orange, I don't, you know, depending on what... Uh, your color blindness is, you, uh, but you can't miss it. It's up here by the, the knob itself. So that is how you can take apart a PH9 and change how the, the phaser sounds. So that could make uh, things interesting for you. Again, it's only a $20 pedal and, uh, you know, something you can play around with without fear of destroying your, your very expensive pedal. So may, maybe you can get a little bit more uh, pizzazz out of these things than the, the stock pedal. But that is how you do it. Take it apart and it's a little trim pot right there and adjust as needed. And again, I would take a Sharpie and mark where it is uh, before you start adjusting things so you can go back and, and switch it if you don't like how you've changed the sound a little bit. So, enjoy.